What's going on everybody? Today I'm gonna to be taking you through the exact step-by-step -step process of how you can start sourcing your own leads for very little to no money at all. This is an essential step to creating email outreach campaigns for your AI systems that you can then turn around and sell for 3,000, 5,000, even $10,000 a month and beyond to other business owners. The first step to having a good cold email outreach system is having a list of leads of ideal prospects that you can reach out to and offer your services. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how you can leverage sources like Apollo and then use a scraping platform called Appify. Turn around and then clean those lists with other various software such as Million Verifier. So that way, in the end, you can have a super high quality, clean list of leads you can then put into your outreach campaigns to have the highest response rates possible. This is the exact process we're using at Infinite X to source our own leads and then outreach to them via cold email. I'm gonna take you step by step on how you can do this yourself, but if you want all the systems, if you want everything handed to you, check out our WAP community. It's a seven day free trial. In this community, we're gonna show you how to become an AI growth partner. That way you are irreplaceable in the day and age of AI. Without further ado guys, we're gonna jump straight into Apollo and go ahead and start sourcing our own leads. All right guys, so the first step you have to do is go and find a place where the leads are at. And what we're gonna be using today is a website called Apollo.io. You may have heard of it before, but if you haven't, all you're gonna do is you're gonna type in your little URL box up here, Apollo.io, that's it. You're gonna be greeted with this page. Now, one thing I'm gonna point out to you really quick is the pricing here. What I'm gonna be showing you today is a way to avoid paying Apollo's high pricing. Like if you go to the monthly billing, you can see uh, it's $59 to $99 per month. What I'm gonna be showing you is a method to where you don't have to pay this high subscription fee and instead you can use an other app called Appify and that's gonna basically enable us to export the list we create. But the first step is actually just going ahead and making an account with Apollo. So just log in. You can use your Google account to go ahead and connect and once you get into Apollo, you'll be greeted with this page. You're just gonna have to pick the free plan. That's gonna get you into the part where you can actually go ahead and start scraping and searching for leads. So here's the thing. We can go here, we can find as many leads as we want and just so you know, Apollo has a database that's directly connected to LinkedIn and various other social media platforms but the leads are only good if they're the right people. So I'm gonna show you the step-by-step -step process on how to use Apollo's built-in filters to make sure you're getting the correct audience for your email campaign. Now this part's gonna be specific to you. You're gonna be targeting somebody different than I'm targeting, but the purpose is to morph this to whatever use case you have. So just really brief how Apollo works is you can come over here and start modifying how you are searching for people. I'm just gonna show you the exact process we use to go ahead and get the list of leads that we want. Basically how it works is, is you can come over here and you can start filtering out the types of people you're looking for. You're gonna to wanna to go under people, make sure you're there, and then you can come over here. There's a lot of different options, okay? I would just go ahead and just follow me step-by-step step on what I'm doing. Um, there's a lot of different options here, and as you get more comfortable with Apollo, you can change it how you want. Uh, but if you've never used it before, or you just wanna see the exact process we use, just follow along. So you wanna make sure you're doing this process for your use case. For today's use case, we're gonna be targeting marketing agency owners slash decision makers. What I can do is I can go over here to the industry keywords and I can go and find marketing and advertising. Now you can also add in your own if you want, but just to keep things simple, we're gonna just focus on marketing and advertising. Now it's come up with a list of people here, right? And the cool thing is we can see their job title. We can see what their name is. We can even see what company they're working for. So I can click on this company and inside Apollo, there's actually a little profile for that company specifically. If I go here, I can click on the link. That'll take me to their website. So as we can see, uh, we have like an SEO agency. They do all types of other stuff, email marketing. Again, this is gonna be different for your use case, but let's say I wanted to reach out to these marketing agency owners and I wanted to offer them AI services that could enhance their email marketing. That's kind of the idea, but you could take this any way you want. If you're targeting construction companies, you can go into Apollo and change this industry keyword to match that profile of person you're looking for. You can look for construction companies, real estate companies, med spas, you name it, it's all here. We're gonna focus on marketing agency owners today. Now, I'm gonna be focusing on a certain size company. I'm probably, I'm gonna be focusing on the 11 to 20 size. This is the employees that they have um, because I don't wanna be reaching out to companies that are too small that won't be able to afford our service. 
And I also don't want to reach out to companies that are too big where they might not need it. So I'm going to go for just the right area. And again, you will want to modify this to your use case. We're going to just stick with the 11 to 20 employees. I can go and filter per location. Let's say I only want to target the United States. I can go ahead and put that in there as a filter. Now, what's really important here is the job title. We want to focus on the decision makers because the thing about Apollo is it has a database full of non-decision makers as well. Could be sales reps, could be you know, someone who just works the front desk. We want to filter out decision makers. So in order to do that, we're just going to go over here. We're going to type in CEO, founder. We can even put in CEO and founder. It sometimes will add a little bit more based off of that. You can kind of get the gist now. We're looking for people who are going to be decision makers, right? The next thing we can do is actually start filtering out for the decision makers. So we have CEO, founder. Sometimes the CEOs and the founders aren't the decision makers looking for. We want to go ahead and include other decision makers of companies as well. So in order to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to use the term director. So we can go director of marketing, director sales, and that's going to add in. And look, every time I'm adding in a filter, more of the list is getting bigger. So we're up to seven and a half thousand leads that we could choose from here. Make sure to watch the entire video because I'm going to show you exactly how to clean the list as well. But I'm just going to still go ahead and double check. I'm going to check the verified uh, emails only because we don't want to be reaching out to anybody who doesn't have a verified email. If you haven't run an email campaign before, basically what this means is these are verified emails only. If you're sending emails to an email address that does not exist, that can actually hurt your deliverability, which is really important when you're running cold email campaigns. So we want to make sure these leads are verified. That's what makes this list valuable. We're going to use Apollo's built-in verification, but like I said, watch the whole video so you can see the extra step we go and do. That way we make sure this list of leads we have is extra clean so we have the highest deliverability rate possible. So as you've been watching me do this, you can kind of go ahead and get the gist. You're gonna to have to modify this to your specific use case. But if we look over here at our list, we can go ahead and make sure that the filters we're enabling here are getting the audience that we want. So we can see that this is uh, some marketing companies since we're targeting marketing companies, we wanna make sure that these look like marketing companies. There's some different links we can use here within Apollo. We can go and actually click this link. It'll take us to their LinkedIn page. And let's just see if this is somebody that we would hypothetically want to reach out to. Marketing Connection CEO. So we can tell that she's a founder and CEO. So if I go to this company, I can even go to the company page on LinkedIn as well. The other thing I'm going to do is actually check their profile within Apollo. I'm going to click the link, go to the website, make sure this is something. Build connection, build trust, build revenue. It looks like they're more about brand building, but nonetheless, it is still a marketing company, B2B brand development. It looks like they have packages they offer. This is still a pretty ideal person we'd wanna reach out to. So this is definitely the type of person and the type of companies we wanna see. So once you are comfortable with the list and this is matching the audience you want to reach out to, we're gonna go on to the next step. If you're using the Apollo plan, you'd have to export this and pay for their subscription. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna show you the way that you can go ahead and export this list without having to pay that high subscription fee. So we're gonna open up a new tab and we're gonna to go to a website called Appify. And if you go into Appify, you're gonna be greeted with this page. And what Appify is, is it's basically a website that hosts a ton of different scrapers that other developers have made for all types of different purposes. You'll find a lot of useful things. We're just gonna focus on the Apollo specific scrapers today to fulfill the export of our lead list. The first step I want you just to focus on is going ahead, go to the console, create an account if you don't have one already, it's free. Once you get in, it'll look something like this. Now, the cool thing is, is Appify actually gives us a lot of free usage, um, and that'll be plenty enough to go ahead and get your first couple thousands of leads. You just sign with your Google account, and then you can head over to the Appify store, it should be at the top left over here. And then we're gonna go up here to search for actors, and we're gonna type in Apollo. Now there's a lot of different Apollo scrapers. I'm gonna go ahead and find the best one we can use. And just so you know, this fluctuates. There's new scrapers that come in. There's some scrapers that just don't work anymore. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna focus on finding the best scraper for what we're trying to do that's gonna cost us the least amount of money today. Now again, Appify is ran and it's a platform where other developers can come in and post their scrapers. That way you can either pay to use them or rent them. It's a little bit different across the board, so just when you click on it, go ahead and look at the settings. So for this one specifically, this is pay per lead. Now, it's for a thousand leads, it's $1.20. That's pretty good. I mean, especially when you compare that to Apollo, which is a monthly subscription, anywhere from $59 to $99 a month. 
uh, you just pay for every time you use it for this one, $1.20, which is super cheap for the amount of leads you're getting. And as long as your filters are good, you're gonna be getting a good quality list. So there's a lot of different developers that make various amounts of scrapers. Not all scrapers are created equally. We're gonna be looking for one that we can just go ahead and use for free today and get our first couple of thousand of leads coming in. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click on this one. This one says no cookies. And all that basically means is that we don't have to have Apollo credentials to use it. We can just go ahead and just use the actor directly and go ahead and scrape the list that we made. If you look up here and you click this little drop down, you'll see that we can go ahead and start a one day free trial and go ahead and scrape a couple of thousand leads for completely free. That way we can get our campaign started. If you wanna keep using it after that, you will have to continue to rent the actor from this particular developer. Um, but we're just gonna focus on getting our lead list today without paying anything. So what you'll do is you'll click start and click rent actor. I'm gonna give the exact link of the actor I'm using for this video in the description below. That way you can just follow along with the video. Now, this particular platform makes it super easy for us to do. And we can just follow the instructions. Scrape up to 2.5K leads from Apollo search URL. Looking to scrape more, you can switch to a pay per result plan. It says that trial users can do it 15 times. So it's actually pretty simple to do. We're gonna go back to Apollo. We're gonna grab the URL from up here. We're just gonna copy it, come back to the Appify scraper, and we're gonna paste it right there. And you wanna specify the number of records. And this is basically telling it how many leads we wanna go ahead and scrape. For this example, I'm just gonna go ahead and just do a thousand, but you can actually go ahead and do up to two and a half thousand. And you can do this as many times as you want. If you want even more, you can pay per usage uh, and get as many leads as you want. A thousand will be enough just to go ahead and showcase what all we need to do for today. And then what you're gonna to wanna to do is come down here to the run option. And you wanna be careful here because uh, if, if this setting is on the default, which is 360 seconds, the scraper can time out on you. We're just gonna go ahead and click no timeout. This is going to make sure the scraper does not time out and it will only finish scraping once it has all thousand leads that we want. So we have our record set to a thousand, we got our URL in, we got no timeout. Now all we're gonna do is pretty simple. We're just gonna press save and start. Now from here, the scraper has started and you're gonna get a screen like this. Now, this is going to take some time. It may take anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes to scrape these thousand leads. So just go find something to do, drink some coffee, hang out, have a good time. Whatever you gotta do, just go ahead and let this run in the background. Don't X out of the page, just let it go ahead, do all the exporting for you. That way you can get your list of a thousand or more leads, however much you need to go ahead and insert into your cold email campaign. Once your scraper's finally finished up, you'll have a screen that looks something like this, succeeded, we had 1,042 results, sweet. We're gonna go ahead and get down here and press export results. Uh, we wanna go ahead and download it as a CSV. We're gonna save it to our desktop. So now that we've exported a lead list from Appify, we can't just stop there because with this raw list, there's not a lot we can do with it. We had to go through a process called cleaning the list to go ahead and make sure your email domains are protected and safe so you can have the highest deliverability as possible. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the step-by-step -step process to clean up the CSV file. That way we can go ahead and pour it into our cold email platforms such as Instantly or whatever CRM you use. And I always like going to Google Sheets just because it feels easier uh, than just opening it directly on my computer itself. So we can come in here, we can press file, we can press import. I'm just gonna upload the CSV to Google. I'm just gonna go ahead and click import data. When you pull the CSV file in from Appify, there's gonna be a lot of different data in here. And you're gonna have to scroll over to go ahead and start finding the data you're looking for. Our job now is going to be to clean this list. We're gonna to have to go ahead and get on here and start messing with this Google spreadsheet. It's pretty easy. We're just gonna delete the fields we don't need. This is gonna take some time and I'm just gonna basically cut to the part with all the relevant information that we need. We can just start both deleting these columns by dragging, right clicking, and just pressing delete columns. We're gonna to have to do this for all the columns that we don't want. So I'll be right back. We basically just, the main things we are gonna really want is this, the parts where there's emails. We wanna keep the names and any other relevant information you might want. You can really keep pretty much anything you might want to, but I'm just gonna clean up. I'm gonna show you what the list looks like when I get done with it and what's relevant for us. Mainly for us, we just wanna make sure we're keeping first name and last name. So I'll just drag last name over here. Just get rid of some of these that we don't need. I'm not gonna keep the full name because when we're actually personalizing these emails, we're not gonna refer to them as their full name. That's kind of weird. The main thing we really want from this section is just the first name 
and the last name. So we'll just drag these. And we're going to drag these all the way back over to the side we were just at. We're going to put this right here. So now we have first name, last name. You can keep city if you want. I'm not going to for this case. There's a lot of other stuff. We're just going to go ahead and clean out. We're going to keep the email status. It's got employment history. Not really interested in that. Yeah, so pretty much the main things we want, first name, last name, email, most important, email status, okay? We're gonna go ahead and just delete all these others. You can take a look through at the different data. If you find it relevant, you can keep it. For the use case of sending cold email campaigns, we don't really need any of this other stuff. So I'm gonna take some time, delete all these fields, and we'll pretty much just be left with first name, last name, email, and the status. So now we got our list of leads here. The next step for us to go ahead and do is to actually go ahead and delete all the contacts that don't have an email because we don't want to add anybody who doesn't have an email into our cold email campaign. That's not going to be really useful for us. There's a couple different ways to do this, but I'm just literally going manually and just deleting it. You can create automation for this, but just for this use case, we're just going to go ahead and come in here and delete these rows we don't need. So once you get your list cleaned up a little bit more, your spreadsheet should be looking something like this. We got our emails, we have our status verified. Now, remember, we are relying on the verification status according to Apollo. I'm gonna go ahead and give you a little bit of insight. Apollo is not necessarily known for having the most accurate of verification statuses. We wanna make sure that this list is as clean as possible. And I'm gonna show you the step-by-step -step process and how I make sure all the emails we're sending to are verified and will have the best delivery rate for our email campaigns. So there's a couple of different softwares you can use. There's Million Verifier, there's Never Bounce. There's another one called Reunion. There's a lot of softwares out there you can use. I recommend Never Bounce, Million Verifier, or Reunion. Today, we're specifically, we're gonna be utilizing Reunion. So just to give you an idea of how this works, you just wanna go to Reunion, and you wanna go ahead and sign up for an account if you don't already have one. Now we're at the part where you're gonna to wanna to start investing a little bit of cash to make sure your email campaigns are running smoothly. The thing about automated outreach, such as email campaigns, is you're not using your time to make money. You're spending money to make money. So investing in softwares like Reun, Million Verifier, and other software platforms we'll use to actually send the emails for us like instantly are essential to booking appointments on your calendar. This is the top of your funnel. This is where your customers are going to be coming in at. So it's really important to invest the right money in these areas. I just started a new account just to get, go ahead and show you guys how this works. So it's got 100 free credits. Email verification is super cheap though. You can verify up to 500 emails a day for 10 bucks on Reunion specifically, or you can get up to 1,000 credits a day, which is equivalent to 30,000 verified emails for a single month for just $20 a month. There's various other software, so compare prices, Million Verifier, Never Bounce, those are also good ones. I'm just using Reunion just to show you the process. So a couple different ways we could do this, we could do one email address at a time and start the verification, but we don't wanna do one at a time, that's time consuming. What we're actually gonna do instead is just choose the file and bulk upload the entire CSV. So we gotta go back to Google, download our new clean version of the csv file make sure you download it as a csv now i'm going to come over here to reun files in there and i'm just going to click start verification now it says email successfully submitted it's done this whole thing we can go ahead and go to the task details and see what's up reun has finished validating the emails for us and now we can actually see the results now you can see even though apollo said some were valid not actually all of them were we had about 63 that were said to be safe and we're only going to email to those 63 now of course this is just a hundred out of the thousands of emails. When you're doing this in a real scenario, what you're actually gonna be doing is putting all the emails through this verification process. So with the results that we have, we wanna just go ahead and download it and we're only gonna download the safe results only. We're gonna press download CSV and upload the spreadsheet there. Import the data and here we go. We have all the verified emails, the 63 that were verified if you were doing this on the bigger scale, you'd have all 1,000 contacts or more, however many you're doing right here. So guys, with this clean email list, the next most important thing for you to go ahead and do is actually put this into a system that's gonna go ahead and start doing the outreach for you. You now have a valuable list of prospects. You can go ahead and start emailing using Instantly or Smart Lead, whatever cold email campaign application you use. Now again, guys, if you want access to doing all this type of process completely automatically, go ahead, Take a look at the WAP community. You're gonna get access for it for seven days for free. If it's not for you, no harm, no foul. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Have an absolutely amazing day and keep crushing it.